When I first came to Cathedral Hill, I was really inspired by all of the old buildings. It has such a feeling of history and culture, and it was just really wonderful. And I had a meeting with a coworker at Nina's Coffee Cafe. It's at the corner of Selby and Western. The coffee is so good, and the service is amazing. It's just a wonderful, cozy little place to meet up, and I really love the Madame Nina. And then I thought, wait, who is Madame Nina? And that's when I found out that Nina's is in a former brothel. It's named after a famous madam and that there's a secret tunnel. That rumor has nagged at me for years. So I think it's time that we find out the truth. The truth is right in front of us. The building that is now apartments and retail was originally the Blair Hotel built in 1887, where Nina's is now was the original hotel lobby. The coffee shop is named after a famous madam named Nina Clifford, and her story is very interesting. The widow Hannah Steinbrecher arrived in St. Paul in 1885. She built two buildings at 145 and 147 Washington, changed her name, and went into business. Now known as Nina Clifford, her buildings would have been right where the Science Museum is today. That area was known as Down the Hill. It was below the bluff and close to the river, but it was convenient for Nina. Every month, she could walk just a half a block to the police station to pay her fines. In St. Paul in the late 1800s, prostitution was very out in the open. Madams and prostitutes were arrested on a regular, even monthly basis and reported to pay their fines. This meant that they had a professional relationship with the police, so they knew that they could call them if they needed help. It created some regulation and the city let the vice districts exist. The newspapers would regularly print lists of names of the ladies of ill repute who had shown up to pay their fines. This was supposed to shame them and deter business, but it actually served more as free advertising. Nina's brothel became the most prominent and lavish in the city. A chandelier taken from her building hangs in the mayor's office today. Yes, really. Nina was influential, and more importantly, she knew influential people. The Minnesota Club was a private social club for men. Its membership roster included all the popular and powerful government and business leaders of the day. Names like Hill, Sibley, Washburn, Lowry, names that Minnesotans easily recognize today were on that list. By 1909, they had almost 300 members, so they needed a larger location. They chose an interesting spot. Nina's was approximately where the Science Museum is today. They built here. This is where the rumors come from. There could have been a tunnel through the bluff from Nina's to the Minnesota Club. But was there? Before the Minnesota Club, there was a hotel at this location. During demolition, they discovered a series of tunnels in the foundation. But the tunnels didn't lead anywhere and there was no explanation. So that's not it. Another story alleges that during the Depression, a board member proposed building a tunnel between the club and Nina's and charging a fee to use it. The members declined, not because they thought it was a bad idea, but because it was too late. Nina had died and the brothel was closed. There are true stories linking Nina to the Minnesota club. They have a room named after her. They also had a portrait of her on the wall, but it turned out to not really be her. When her building was demolished in 1937, a brick was taken and hung on the wall. They also have a trophy inscribed in her honor, in memory of the athletic director of the world's second greatest sport. Nina was so well known in St. Paul that when she died, it made front page news. In 1937, when her buildings were demolished, former mayor and journalist Larry Hodgson penned a raunchy poem in the newspaper. You're gonna to have to go to the blog to read that one because there's no way I'm reading it here. Before they could build the Science Museum in 1997, they had to do an archeological dig to clear the site. Did they find the tunnel? No. They uncovered the entire foundation of Nina's basement, but still no tunnel. There may not have been a tunnel between Nina's and the Minnesota Club, but there are miles of tunnels underneath St. Paul, and some of them lead out onto the bluffs. Maybe it was one of those tunnels that they used, just without direct door-to-door -door access. 
But with prostitution being so out in the open, in the newspapers, a rite of passage, so to speak, would anybody really need to use them? I would love to know if you've heard the rumors about the tunnels or if you've maybe even been in them. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.